Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about med kits. So, everybody has a different way that they try to carry some kind of medical equipment on them, right? Um, medical equipment can be some of the most annoying stuff to carry on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but you should. If you carry a gun every day, you should carry something at least just a tourniquet, even if you just take a tourniquet and throw it in your front pocket. Um, but you should really try to carry something. So I've been experimenting recently with how to kind of solve that problem, and I've kind of come up with a, a solution that at least works during the colder months. Um, it doesn't involve this coat, actually. So uh, first of all, I use this kit. I use the Dark Angel Medical Kit. L taking their classes, would recommend them, uh, love their products. This is their refill kit. This is what I use for this solution would recommend it. This is like a full military IFAC, especially when you combine it with a tourniquet. You, you have everything you would need here. I mean, like, I run this on my kit, right? So, full military IFAC, I really, really like that. Never buy their stuff full price, by the way. They always have some kind of discount code somewhere um, or are having a sale. If I ever get a discount code from them, I'll be sure to put it in this video, but buy their kits. I think they're great, okay? Best ones for the money that I've found. So, uh, that's part one, is this kit. The other part is I wear a cargo pant. Um, I, my current favorite pants are the 511 Apex pants. Uh, they're really comfortable, actually. They're some of the best pants that I've found. They're kind of spendy. Again, I never try to buy them full price because I think they're like $80 full price. But when you put, can find them on sale, you can usually get them for around 60 bucks. Um, and the thing I like about that is those cargo pockets are gusseted. Uh, they're not an external cargo pocket. So it doesn't really look super weird when you're carrying the, the IFAC in your cargo pocket. Uh, I'll try to edit that in here while I'm talking. But basically, I can fit both this, the, the, the medical kit here, and the tourniquet in my cargo pocket. Now, it's not the quickest to access or the quickest to, to get to. However, I'm carrying a full IFAC on my person. And it's honestly not too bad as far as comfort goes. Uh, I've been experimenting with it for a couple weeks now, maybe like six, six or so weeks. And it's kind of my go-to for when I'm uh, gonna leave the house and need to have, I wanna have something on me, right? When I'm at my house, usually I won't wear it as much because uh, I'm in my house and I have tons of medical stuff in my house that I don't, I don't necessarily need to carry it on my person. So, like I said, it's a partial solution because it's about to be summer here and I'm not gonna be wearing pants in the summer. I like to wear shorts and boat shoes, okay? I'm, I'm gonna relax in the summer. So I'm really not sure how I'm gonna solve that kind of how am I gonna carry medical stuff on me issue in the summer. Um, and when I wear pants that aren't these pants, right? Like when I wear just jeans or, or whatever pants that don't have gusseted cargo pockets on, again, I still can't, I still can't carry this. Um, so it's only a partial solution at this point. However, I, I think it's a valuable one, uh, primarily because the amount of stuff you get to carry is pretty impressive for the, the cost associated with it. Meaning like, it's really not that uncomfortable. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's not so bad. You get a full military IFAC and, and you feel like, hey, I got, if anything happens, if I come up on a car wreck or anything happens, I feel like I have all the tools here that I can treat myself or somebody else or whatever. Um, so that's my partial solution right now for EDC medical stuff. Would love to hear if, you, if you've been able to improve on that because I, I feel like that's always kind of a struggle of how much to carry and what to carry and where to carry it. I mean, when you have a gun and a spare mag and maybe a backup gun or a blade and then just your, you know, keys, wallet, phone, whatever, it just, it, there's, at some point it's just too much, right? So you have to kind of find that balance between what can I consistently actually carry and, and, and what actually uh, is, is gonna provide value. So that's what I have for my EDC medical stuff right now. Like I said, it's only a partial solution, but I'm certainly gonna take advantage of it during those months of the year when I can. Do brave deeds and endure.